Hello, welcome to the video. You already know exactly what's gonna happen based on the title of this video, so I'm not even gonna beat you on the bush. Today, well not today, over the course of this video, which I'm picking is probably gonna be spaced out over like a week, I am going to be turning half of the garage into a home gym. This has been like a goal of mine. I kind of had this thing going when I lived in Hamilton on a very like small scale. Take what I had, times it by like 10. That is what we're going for. This is the half of the garage that I am going to be transforming. That needs to go much better. If you're wondering, this is most definitely not me. But anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> this is gonna be a home gym. Um, this is a tripod for some lights. We have a telescope, bed, some things that need to move. This basket's full of walnuts. This is the treadmill, so that's where... Hang on, let me take you guys off the tripod and I can give you a little tour. So I need to... I think I'm gonna sell the bed. Because I was gonna keep it for when I go flatting, but that ain't gonna be happening anytime soon. So that needs to go. So this is the space that we're working with. The treadmill's here, row machine's here. That stuff needs to just stay on its side. That stuff's gonna go. Some of that's gym equipment, so I need to like organize it better. This is all my brother's stuff, fixing his car. If this isn't your first time seeing my face and you've been keeping up with my vlogs up until now, I have been sort of alluding to this in the previous couple of vlogs. I've had like a few things get delivered already, but the bulk of the stuff I'm expecting to arrive like early this week. So today's Monday. It's public holiday, hence why I'm not actually working. I'm expecting the bulk of the stuff to arrive probably like tomorrow or the next day. So that includes like a squat rack, dumbbell rack, a box, barbell weights, like all that sort of stuff. And then this is all the stuff that I have so far from like my previous home gym. So I've got ropes, sandbags, that medicine ball is new that just arrived the other day. Got like Pilates sort of stuff in there and then my exercise mats that I just seem to accumulate. I don't actually know where or how. So my goal for right now is to clear the floor space in this area so that I can put down my flooring. This reminds me I got four lots of them, which by my measuring, hopefully, I'm backing myself in this, should cover like this area. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Sit on the floor now. How amazing. I'm going to put down my flooring now. So the tiles, I don't know if you can see the frame where my fingers are right now, but that is where the tiles end and then that's where my dumbbell rack will go. The squat rack is going to go here. I'm hoping that the clearance with the garage door will be okay. It should be, I measured and it comes under the like garage door. Only issue will be if I start doing pull-ups, I might need to think about that again. I won't be able to do pull-ups with the garage door up, put it that way. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to do a workout now. An impromptu phone vlog because <laughs> the stuff has arrived. I was just on my lunch break at work and the guy turned up. This is about 400 kilos of the stuff here and he can't get it into the garage. So I'm gonna have to undo the pallet and individually stack the boxes in here. lighting let me shift you guys so you can actually see me kia ora stunning we are back in the garage it is like quarter past five now and i finished my work day it has taken every ounce of my self-control not to set the gym up this afternoon but mahi must come first at this point in my life so it is time to rip into these boxes and see what we've got here and actually see if we've got everything that I ordered. It said it was coming in six different shipments, like six different parcels. So I had six tracking numbers. Only three of the tracking numbers said that they were with the courier. But when the courier arrived, there was technically six packages. So I'm thinking that the tracking, like since there were so many things going on, I think it all just got a bit confused. And that I do actually have everything that I require. Time to do a little bit of unboxing. I do have my brother on standby to come over and help me with the building side of it if I need him. I think what I'm sitting on right now, which you can't actually see, I'm pretty sure this is my plyo box. I might rip into that one first because I know that that is going to require no assembly. Rack. 
thinking would be a good place to start. This is one half of it. This is the part where I may need my brother to come and help because me and my tiny little pair of scissors taking on the world. Oh, instructions! Stunning! This would be so awesome if it was actually in English. Slave! Oh boy, this is gonna be a blast. Trust me to literally pull the last piece of the puzzle out first. That's the like the J-hooks. Oh, that's a safety. That's pretty pretty sturdy. I have taken some cost saving measures. I actually don't know how good the quality of the stuff is gonna be, but I also don't lift that heavy, so I feel like it doesn't need to be like fantastic quality. I'm no engineer, but that looks pretty sturdy. We have ditched the jumper because this is this is hard work. I put everything out of the packaging. The squat rack is gonna go here, and when it's constructed, it's meant to weigh like 50 kilos. So I wanna try and set it up so that it's in place and I don't have to move it. I'm gonna try and interpret these instructions that are not in English, and we're gonna see how we go. It'll be fine. My camera battery died, so I don't know what you guys have and haven't seen. The squat rack's done. I was battling away with the little spanners that it comes with. And as you could imagine, that wasn't really doing the job. Then I remembered that I come from a family of petrol heads. So of course there was a socket set on the other side of the garage that I could have used. And I didn't realize that till about halfway through. So this was very handy from that point onwards. On the back here, it has these little things where you can store your weights. I am going to use it to store my weights just to give it like a bit more stability. So when I'm lifting all my big girl weights, it doesn't topple over because that's not really my intention, you know? Let's, let's get the barbell up, shall we? What's crazy is that up until like the start of this year, I'd never touched a barbell before in my life. And now I own one. Oh, that is beautiful. That is stunning. I got an all black one and not like, not even like on purpose. It was just on sale. Should we unbox some, some weight plates then? To be honest, I haven't actually got that many weight plates because I can't lift that heavy. Like I'm being totally honest. The most I've ever lifted on a barbell was I squatted like 67 and a half kilos, but that was also including the bar. So that's only an additional 47 and a half. But I bought a couple of 15s, a couple of 10s, a couple of 5s. And a couple of two and a half. So including the bar, I have enough weights to do 85 kilos, which I've never done that before in my life. And if I ever get past that, I'll just buy some more plates. It's like Christmas! Wow, these are so obviously clean because they're new. Here's my my 15 kilo number. I went for the speckle on some of them, but then the speckle was sold out in the fives, I think. So I don't have speckle for the fives. This is so exciting. These are like nice and like I feel like if you drop this on your toe it wouldn't hurt so much. Oh, I know it would hurt like a lot. It's got like a like a spongy kind of feel to it. There we go. Five. I don't know where the two and a halfs are. I'm guessing they're in one of the like probably 15 boxes that are sitting over there with the dumbbells and stuff in them. My two and a half kilo plates are in here. Don't ask me how that happened. Along with my collars. Here are my collars. Little baby ones. Oh, and that's my my barbell pad for doing hip thrusts. I was taking every ounce of my self-control to not just keep on doing this all night. Like I am I'm a woman on a mission right now. Squat rack, barbell, I had to move it over because the garage door couldn't shut. But I've got the bench, which it's not the most stable thing I've ever seen in my life, but it'll do the job. Got the weights stacked up, got the old stuff from the back. This is all my dumbbells. I'll probably do that on Thursday night. That's part of the dumbbell rack. This is also part of the dumbbell rack. I was hoping to have set it all up tonight, but that was a little bit ambitious because it's now 7.30 and I need to go make myself some kai. See you guys on Thursday and we'll continue the task. Kia ora, we're back. It is two days later. But I haven't had a chance to get back out here and resume my building and setting up, so this afternoon, or this evening, because it's now 6pm, we have the task of putting together the dumbbell rack and then putting the dumbbells on the rack. So there's going to be a little bit of heavy lifting going on. I've got a rack which can fit 10 sets of dumbbells on it, so I'm hoping this is going to look how it's looking in my head. And I have 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and a half, 15, 17 and a half, 20, 22 and a half, and 25 kilo dumbbells to go on the rack. I also have a set of 8 and a set of 12 kilo kettlebells as well. I literally had in my cart to get a set of 16 kilo kettlebells and I was like the amount of times that I've used a set of 16 kilo kettlebells in my life I think I can hold off on that 
for a little bit longer because it was like they're like a hundred dollars per kettlebell once you start getting that heavy yeah we don't have 16 kilo kettlebells but that's fine these are my two packages i'm guessing this is like the rails and this is like the side supports i don't know why it's wrapped like it literally looks like it's wrapped in carpet there is like a whole roll of tape holding it together <laughs> I'm not even kidding, that probably took me like a good, nah, probably longer than, longer than 20 minutes just to get the, I don't even know what it was, I'm just gonna call it carpet because it sounds funny. It doesn't have any instructions, but it looks pretty straightforward to me. I think it's just a matter of attaching these to the supports. Pile of lovelies, dumbbells and kettlebells. As far as I'm aware, kind of what I'm getting. I mean, it's all that's left. So if there's not what's in these boxes, we're gonna have a problem. But this is my lovely rack. It's pretty sturdy, actually. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So it fits. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> I was just like checking my math. It fits ten sets of dumbbells, which is what I have here. These four boxes are my kettlebells so i might start with them straps give me ptsd i worked in like two different pharmacies when i was like in uni and at high school orders would come in they'd have these and you'd have to like, twist it up so that they wouldn't take out extra space in the bin like that anyway i'm not doing that right now i ain't got time for that oh, wow this color is stunning look it's a 12 kilo kettlebell so these are my little four kilo dumbbells and I want to get my reaction on camera because they had like lots of different styles of dumbbells. These were also the cheapest, but they were also like the cutest in my opinion. If you could call a dumbbell cute, I'm going to call it cute. Oh, nah, that's hot. They're all black, so they match my barbell. We are done. I've spent the past like 20 minutes, half an hour, just kind of putting things in their place. Also, the birds are popping off right now. But here we have my gorgeous dumbbell rack. Excuse all of my brother's car stuff. Got my kettlebells under here, my slam ball, some extraneous Pilates stuff, my weight bags. I am missing my 15 kilo dumbbells though, and I'm really hoping that that was because they didn't send them. But I need to go have a look at my invoice and see. Got my stepper. I managed to make some space to put the treadmill down. Got the box. A little basket to put my car charger in. That's out of the way. Got the rack, the bench, weight plates in the back, mats in the corner, ropes in the basket. It is now like 10 days later, so I've had a full week of using the home gym. So far, so good. First day started off great. Got up at my normal time, did my workout. It was a lower body session. I was like halfway through the session, and I was obviously in the garage. Garage doors were down because it's still dark outside and the lights started flickering and, I, and it was really windy and um, the power went out so I was exercising in the dark and at the time I was doing hip thrust so the barbell was on the ground and I tripped over it and I have a, oh it's kind of gone down but I have a nice big bruise on my shin from that but it's been onwards and upwards from there. At some point during the week a bird came in and sat itself on my rack and pooped on the floor. In the 21 years that I've lived at this house I haven't known a single bird to poo in this garage but first time for everything I guess. But anyway, thank you for coming along with my journey of setting up the gym. From here you can probably expect to see a little bit more fitness related content which I'm so excited about. I'm kind of like reluctant to share too much until I'm like fully qualified as a PT so watch this space. If you've made this part in the video, firstly, thank you so much. Secondly, comment your favorite exercise in the gym. Literally, it could be anything. Apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. Ow, it's better than I could ever imagine. Stop for a second, okay?